What's going on? Yes, it's been three days in a row that you get to see my face. I'm sorry if that bothers you and I keep interrupting your YouTube feed. But hey, if you happen to be new to the channel, get subscribed so you get up-to-date notifications on when we go live with brand new content here on the channel, including live streams as well. And of course, you could also do me a favor, drop a like on this video because it really, really will help us out. Find, you know, give other people a chance to find us just like you did. Another update of sorts happened on Thursday, and, and the fact that we got some big news items, including uh, the arrival of Crowdplay on Monday, excuse me, in just two, three, three, four days or so, we're going to get Crowdplay. Uh, and also, we got some interesting information that we are now able to submit feedback directly to Stadia when it comes to their communication of sorts, and we also have new games coming to the platform. So let's get into it without further ado. We'll start off with that little survey that you can see on the screen you have been able to see since you've seen my face once again i'm sorry uh but seriously you are now able to truly tell stadia how you feel now this is a survey that was submitted through the discord as well as the subreddit where they're giving you a link to submit your thoughts your feedback to stadia when it comes to the community aspect the communication of it and you get to tell them how you like your information delivered to you and what way so i mean if i click daily here for instance um you get to tell them how satisfied you are with the social media content, uh, whether it increases your interest in more or less from the team itself. And of course, you're able to submit actual feedback when it comes to uh, delivering your own words. So you can say, well, Stadia, this is what I want from you. And you kind of tell them, you know, this is your way to tell them. So if you have a problem with Stadia when it comes to communication or how they're presenting themselves or maybe just Stadia in general, this is your way to do it. So it's time to put up or shut up and tell them, tell them. What can they do better? Because let's look at it from like, say, coaching, okay? If I am playing, uh, say, basketball, for instance, and I'm shooting my shot and my form is way off, but no one tells me, how am I supposed to get better? Same thing with Google Stadia. If they have no idea what they're doing wrong, they're not going to know because we're not telling them. So this is your chance to tell them what you think they're doing wrong. I'm not going to tell you what I think they're doing wrong. You tell them what you think. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of course, click it and submit your feedback to the team. Now, moving on, we talked about right at the very beginning that we have new information when it comes to brand new games coming to the platform. This first one is no confirmation of it. It's just been rated by the Peggy board overseas. And our good friends over at StadiaSource.com was able to uncover this one. And of course, I leave a link to all of the articles we talk about in our videos in the description below, including this one. So Borderlands, a pre-sequel ultimate edition has been officially rated for Stadia on the European rating site, Peggy. And this is how uh, games overseas are rated when it comes to like in the European market. And this follows up Borderlands 2 game of the year when it came to games we were predicting for pro this month. Our good old friend MM2K of Stadia Dosage was predicting that we get Borderlands 2 or the Handsome Jack collection. And well, in some ways kind of right. We're going to eventually get the Handsome Jack collection uh, in some form. Now this is the the ultimate edition this follows the game of the year edition from uh the borderlands 2 side of things so we might be seeing the borderlands uh og borderlands 1 game of the year edition uh follow up when it comes to getting rated uh it's gonna be interesting i wonder if we see a collection of sorts show up or if we're gonna see them individually packed uh so this is interesting news if you're a borderlands fan if not then i can see you'd be like okay who big deal but whatever um you know when a game's rated it doesn't necessarily mean it's absolutely coming to the platform but i mean Typically, that's exactly what it means. Uh, it's it's odd that it wouldn't be the case. Uh, so far, that's, I mean, the case for Doom. We still haven't seen the original Doom uh, reboot yet. So uh, just take this with a grain of salt. Don't expect this game uh, next week, next month, even this year. Just keep in mind, you shouldn't be expecting this game in some form until Stadia or 2K themselves announce it. But this is just kind of like a uh, underneath, kind of like going inside baseball, peek behind the curtain of what could be coming to the platform. And Borderlands, a pre-sequel, is one of those games. Now. For a game that has been officially announced, it is Spirit Fair from our friends over at Thunder Lotus. And of course, you can get the article over here at StadiaSource.com. But over on the Stadia official website, they did an interview with the developers of Thunder Lotus. And this is kind of following up what they did last week with one hand clapping and just stuff they've done before. And it gives you kind of an inside peek of what you can expect with this game specifically. It's going to be coming out to every other platform as well. It's not like any kind of exclusive or whatever. Uh, Thunder Lotus does have a presence on Stadia with uh, Yoden and Sundered already so this is not too uh, much of a surprise when it comes to the fact that they're bringing this to stadia as well so they're already kind of a partner as it were and it's good news uh so i will leave a link to the actual teaser trailer the uh, developer interview and of course the stadia source official article talking about this now this is the big one this is the one people have been waiting for when people say 
what is missing from Stadia? We wanted this at the Connect. What is it? It's YouTube features. And guess what? It's time. Because on Monday, and we found this out through a tweet from a YouTuber that's apparently well known. I mean, when it comes to YouTubers and streamers, I am terrible at knowing names. And not just because like, oh, I know the face. No, I just, I don't know. Because when it comes to gaming, I typically rather play the games and watch someone play them. I mean, that's just how I roll. I know it's kind of a bad thing to say when I stream myself, but uh, I, I don't really uh, have that connection. So anyway, when um found out about this, obviously it was through, I believe, I couldn't tell you who I originally heard about it from, but uh, this comes from a young man named Karim Yovian. I hope I'm not butchering that. Uh, but he announced uh, through a tweet that uh, this is what he said. I'll just quote it. I'll be streaming this coming Monday at 5 p.m. using Stadia Crowdplay. So I'm going to play with you guys live on Stadia. Not only that, if you don't have the game, I'll be giving it to you for free. So no excuses. Come by Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern time for free games and play with me live. This is big. Uh, he does go on to say that it's a giveaway. Uh, I don't think he's necessarily giving everyone that shows up or joins the crowd play button to uh, a copy of Mortal Kombat 11, which he eventually says that he's going to be playing. So immediately off the bat, we can say that Mortal Kombat 11 will be supporting crowd play. I believe when the GDC uh, announcement happened back in 2019, they were showing NBA 2K as another one. So maybe 2K20 retroactively adds that as well. This is awesome news. Now, initially... My thoughts were that, okay, so either they're, either this guy's lying, which I didn't believe because, you know, why, why would he lie? Uh, <laughs> either he was lying, um, he, for some reason, was given early access to a YouTube feature that no one else was, or that Crowdplay was going to launch uh, today or maybe Monday even. Uh, from what we found out, because 9to5Google actually reached out to Google themselves, this is what they said when it came to uh, if this is the beginning of Stadia's crowd playing YouTube live streaming. And a spokesperson, they said, confirmed that a small number of testers are being given access to Stadia's live streaming tools. And this is what they said. And quote, we are currently testing the ability to live stream Stadia games with a small number of testers. Stay tuned for more information. Here's more info about experiments on YouTube and that followed their email that they got from Stadia themselves. So this is uh, big. I mean, obviously, we knew that September at the very latest is when we're going to see Crowdplay come because that has Dead by Daylight coming out, which had Crowdplay and Crowd Choice. So that's going to be following it with it as well. And of course, Super Bomberman R Online is set to do uh, set to come out this fall, and that was also going to have uh, Crowdplay. I'm trying to think, was crowd? No, it was Crowdplay for sure. So Crowdplay to me is, I think, probably the easiest thing to implement in certain ways. Uh, it's going to be awesome for streamers because let's say I have you know 20 people watching me and I wanted people to play with me. Either I have to send them a friend request, I have to uh, just send them a game invite. Instead, I can just open up a link in the um, the stream I'm doing. They can click join and boom, everyone can just join a queue immediately through my actual stream. And this is awesome. So this is streamlining that entire experience and it's allowing uh, fans of streamers to connect with them in a way that they just couldn't before. Or if they could, it was a much harder way or maybe even streamers just didn't want to open up their uh, friends list or anything like that to be able to uh, bring them in that way. So, I mean, this is an awesome way to streamline the experience and just kind of begin that further gratification when it comes to uh, watching a streamer or just integrating your actual community into your gameplay as well so this is awesome this uh, this came out of left field we did not expect this to show up on a thursday afternoon and mortal Kombat 11 of all games for them to be showing us off with unfortunately i'll be working otherwise i would be trying to join this guy's game as well but uh this is exciting information i'll definitely be checking it out after the fact to see how it runs hope <sighs> Hopefully someone's recording like the actual like web page as it's happening or maybe even a mobile version because I want to see how it works through different uh, integrations like um, on Android phones. Like if you're watching through YouTube on there, if you're watching on desktop, like how the Stadia buttons show up, uh, it's going to be interesting. So, I mean, this is the first time we're truly going to get crowd play in the flesh. And I want to know what your thoughts are on them. Before I get there, though, our good friend Gem Stadia had found some further information within YouTube source code when it came to crowd play and crowd choice. So this is obviously it's there now. Um, it has a handle Q to play command. Uh, and they also have down here, which would include live chat pull, which is a reference to crowd choice uh, and stay is specifically mentioned in that. And then down here, there's three mentions of um, what 
crowd play would be. So you can join the queue, you can leave the queue, and you can launch the game. So this is some awesome stuff coming to us finally from State of That. People have just been anticipating. They're like, where's the features? We want features. We want features. Now, I don't think features is going to be a blanket of everyone's going to be excited for because some people just don't care about streaming. But a lot of people that talk about Stadia and Stadia specific features are super excited for this, whether they're a streamer or not, whether they want to join a streamer's game. This is an awesome way to do it. And it's going to be a game changer. I believe Hyperscape and Twitch have done something similar. They kind of beat Stadia to the punch, even though Stadia had announced this over a year ago. That being said, this is going to be something that I think is just going to be implemented in a lot of games going forward, and I'm excited to see how it works. I want to know what your thoughts are, though. Are you excited for Crowdplay showing up on Monday, at least in a limited area, with uh, bigger YouTubers? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to get subscribed and, of course, like this video because it does help us out. And share this with a friend that may be excited about Crowdplay or has no idea about Crowdplay and you need to tell them all about it. And, of course, are you excited for the games we talked about? And did you submit your survey? Just do it because they need our feedback. They can't get better unless we teach them how to. Okay. And, again, I will have another video. It might be up on Twitter and, or it might just be uh, just thrown up here eventually a little later about the Chubbs Memorial Cup tournament. Uh, this news uh, reel of sorts kind of interrupted that. I was just going to throw up like a three to five minute video about the PGA 2K21 tournament, but this was just kind of too big to ignore and not talk about. So uh, let me know your thoughts about everything below. And in the meantime, I want to thank you. Have a great weekend if I don't see you again and party on.